Hi everyone, Rory Neary from uh, TDG Data Spinners and the Power Addicts. Today I am going to do a video which is a retrospective of all 50 videos. Do you know what? I'm not actually going to like do all of them. I'm just going to like go through them and we'll see what it looks like. So let's see how that goes. So here I am on the playlist. Uh, I'm going to start with one. So I started off with Notify. I think I came in, I was doing some course or something. I was delivering a course and then this thing came in. And I thought, oh, I'll do that. Great. Then I've got Phil. Obviously, everyone needs to know Phil because that's what makes your, uh, you know, brings color into your, into your apps. Then there's the screen. Oh, you need screens. Um, App Doctor was a really cool one. It just came completely out of the blue. And for me, it's like just really, really amazing uh, knowing that you do or don't have mistakes in your apps. Um, SharePoint Web Parts. Um, yeah, it's just a way of delivering your your apps, really. I mean, but but quite good because you could do you know you can use Power uh, Power BI and all those sorts of things. That's quite good. Number six, global variables, really, really, really important. I mean, I don't tend to use local variables. I tend to use global variables and and just reset them as I as I choose. So. Um, Number seven, visible property, super, super important, especially when you're doing, uh, I don't know, corporate type apps, whether or not things are visible or not, it's really important. Then I did um, X and Y for objects to start with, like, so where are objects? So I'm going to jump out and show you something. So here's me using this to show how you can have, um, in fact, th I think I, I I think this was, oh, this, I've made a, a little thing here. I was pretending, I wonder what it'd be like if you had like, um, if you had a way of uh, having a Power Platform logo. So this is my little experiment. I said, well, you could have Power BI, Power Apps and Flow, and they all come together and aren't they wonderful? Cause that's what makes um, the Power Platform. Ta -da! Okay, cool. So that was X and Y coordinates, but it actually uses timers as well. So I'm gonna jump back onto there. I don't even know if I've got a thing about timers. X and Y for data cards, really important. Um, just going to check that my, my sometimes my camera goes a bit funny. So X and Y for data cards. So if you've got forms and you want to know how the the cards move around the place, it's really important to you to have a look at that. Display mode, super important, particularly if you are doing corporate apps. Border radius, you know. Yeah. Oh, don't didn't mean to do that. Do not do that. Oh, I'm going to shut that up. Kill that. Okay, yeah, border radius, okay. HTML text, quite important if you're doing corporate apps because then you can make it look pretty, you can have different fonts and you know different colors in within the same text. First and filter is something I use a lot, but it's actually really the equivalent of doing a lookup. I just don't like the way lookup is structured as a formula. I find it easier to read first and filter. So icons, quite important, um, but they're kind of relatively straightforward. I think I'll do one of those later on. Uh, Rand, I quite like Rand, but it's only ever any use for games. Um, parent default is really, really important in forms, so worth a look. Um, this, and then there's number 17, a uh, creating using images. Um, so there's different ways, lots of different types of images in that. You, um, this number 18 is like quite a popular one. So people seem to watch this quite a bit. So it's using checkboxes. Um, there's another one called resetting controls. And I have the funny feeling I've done another one called resetting controls. So um, number 20 is quite cool. It's a select um, where you can um, you can get something to select a button and the button does the thing that it needs to do. Um, so that's quite neat. Color fade is cool if you're working with, um, if you're trying to change the nature of the colors. Uh, round and value is quite useful, obviously if you're working with numbers. Uh, then I did number 23, Navigate, which is hard work, this. Navigating back, obviously. Um, distinct, really, really important. So you might get a list of things and you want to just get only the unique items in that list, really important. Sort by columns, quite useful. Uh, quite often sort is good enough. Um, it looks like I do another one on images here. Okay, fine. Um, obviously they're important. Um, copying controls, relatively straightforward. I don't know what was there. It's um, control C and control V, but it was it was harder to do it at that time. Um, the number 28, using SharePoint image libraries. I don't tend to use those anymore. I tend to use um, a combination of SQL Server and Azure Blob Storage. Um, 
And then look at that. No 30. Never mind. Um, so number 31, count rows. Chime. This is just like loads of stuff to do with... Um, to do with using the timer. So quite a quite a good one to just to look through. 32 scan barcode. I don't use that, but I'm so looking forward to having a reason to use it. Um, communicating drop downs is quite good fun. It's where you get one drop down to talk to another drop down. I like that. Uh, 34 Hogwarts house colors was uh, around this idea that you could talk, literally for a school have house colors. Um, and then when someone wins, it would change everything. Can you imagine all the apps changing color across, you know, your school or something like that? Because, you know, whichever, you know, school had, um, whichever part of the school had won the competition, that'd be quite nice. Um, 35, I think this is about, yeah, 1 minute 27, creating an iPhone with it, widget, that's good. Um, 35, the table function. Um, I don't use it as much as I thought I was going to use it. Um, Number 37, a patch alternative. Um, I've got better at using patch, if I'm honest, but this is still quite good. So before you start doing patch, I think that this alternative to doing patch is quite quite a neat thing to do. Essentially, you just basically do edit form, submit form, and it's all done in the one button. Um, number 38, I don't know if it's out of date now because it was how you set up Office 365. It just goes all the way through and it does, it does it in 12 minutes, 35. Um, 39, fading images in. I love this one, actually. I just love it. It just looks so nice. You've got a timer and it fades the image in. It looks really nice. Um, number 40, really super important. Game changer. Calling flow from within Power Apps. Um, number 41, it's the first of a number that I did on components. Um, so it's quite nice. Uh, and then I did another one with a graded header on using... Um, uh, components as well and then at this component sidebar I don't use components as much as I thought I would I think I will use them more in future though um, there's a little tip here I've got um, some tips and tricks using icons and um, then um, surprisingly enough I didn't use the um, number 45 is the launch um, where you can literally launch things different things can be a phone or anything like that uh, number 46 is first and last they're quite handy to make use of so 47 is the user function just dead easy to use like user open brackets close brackets dot something or other and you get some bits and pieces out really handy um the number 40 well do you know what i'm going to call and do 48 at the end which is my favorite one the 49 is the reset function so it looks like i've done that twice whatever Number 50, I this is really nice actually. It is a components number pad. Um, it's kind of useful because I don't know about you, but the um, the uh, quite often the phone, um, uh, the digits on the phone are quite small, uh, and this would be quite a cool thing to have. And do you know what? It's ridiculously easy to do. And then finally, number 50, which is actually 48, but anyway, this is my all time favorite function i love using um the function split now the video i've done isn't very good at all but split is the best like it's the least well known but most fantastic function you can do so essentially what it does it takes a string of text so it could be uh, one comma two comma three comma four and what it does is it splits it into um uh, it splits it into a list and you can use it for things like drop downs you can do some really cool things so what you can do is you can get you can even get two um two fields with one comma two comma three and you can have four comma five comma six you can, can you could pull you could you could concatenate them together and then you could split them loads are really cool i've, I've done so much with this since uh, i did my video my video isn't very good but that is my alt. That is my favourite function, bar none. Uh, so, and there we get to the end. That was number fifty. I have got to fifty videos, um, which is all sorts of functions um, in Power Apps. Um, yeah, and who knows what the rest of them come. I'm gonna have to start doing the hard ones now because, as you can see, I've not done patch yet, have I? You know. So. Um, I uh, hope you've enjoyed the retrospective um, and do um, what I'll do is I'll put the Tuesday tutorials 
um, the the link down in the show notes. Please subscribe. It's really important. My mum goes on this thing and she like watches the videos for nine hours a day just to get my stats up. It's very good, but it'd be nice if somebody else did the uh, same too. So um, yeah, keep power up in and uh, take care. Bye.